everybody welcome back to my channel we are up in big bear again still working on our kind of renovation setup of our new little cabin like lake cabin mountain cabin a woods cabin <laughs> kind of have all of those things out here um i really am excited to share with you guys one of the most fun decor items that we've gotten for the cabin um which we got from an etsy artist um whose shop is called ah. animal <laughs> whose shop is called animal fancy it's for my vlog you're making it fun that was fun it was so fun so yeah, as I was saying before I was, you know, interrupted, you guys know what my real life is about now. We got this really, really cute. I've got some money gaming with his friends, so I still can't be heard. But we got some really cute decor that I'm excited to show you um, as kind of one of our next steps to this process. Just taking in the nature. It is beautiful out here. Can you want to get in? Get in the shot. There he is. This was a day trip that we took from LA, obviously LA up to Big Bear. It's under two and a half hours. Kofi and I made the most of the drive up. We actually had a meeting with uh, the founder of Jalaf Festival, uh, Osekre. Um, so we had some conversations with him about some potential partnerships and collaborations. He's also a Columbia University alumni as am I. So that was the first meeting. And then right when we got there, I also had to make the most of the office space, the little desk space that I've set up in the master bedroom to prepare for a presentation that I gave on equity and autism. I am on the senior leadership for Moms Allyship Against Racism, the acronym M-A-A-R. While I personally don't have a child that is autistic, I did do my doctoral work in the field of public health and community health sciences. So I have experience and knowledge to lend from that perspective to support a conversation on autism equity. And one of the other senior membership uh, panelists actually does have a child with autism, so that was great. As soon as my talk was over, I got to work. So as I said, I got these prints from an artist named Donna whose shop on Etsy is called Animal Fancy. She does uh, anthropomorphic digital art, which is just amazing and really cute. Um, sometimes a little kind of like creepy in a way, but also just really funny. Um, and I just love this kind of uh, idea for the game room in the cabin. I think it's great to bring in all of these different kinds of woodland creatures. I love that she signed personally signed every single print that we ordered. It was a large order, but her customer service was amazing. She sent me the sweetest uh, messages and I just cannot endorse her enough because I love the artwork as, um, you know, independently, but I also really, really uh, just love the person that she is. We've connected. So shout out to Donna. I hope you see this. <laughs> Since this was only a day trip, we weren't trying to kill ourselves. We just ran out to the local DIY home store and got some nails so that we can mount these things along with some museum putty and then also some small brushes to do the touch-up paint for this wall that Kofi had painted last time. We actually didn't do the touch-up painting yet, but we will next time you know this is just a, a an evolving process and we can't do too much at a time but i still am kind of eager to get things kind of set up for summer and now i know that my sister is bringing her family up um, at the end of june so i want to have things together for when she does get here all right so we got the rest up on this wall you guys these are just so great I'm just if i can get out of the glare of the light here and I'm so happy with how they look. They're just so cute and very whimsical and fun and perfect for cabin game room. I actually ordered a total of 15 prints, so I have so much more to mount, but this is such a great start. 
We also got this really cute bench that I put together with Kofi. So that's another thing that we got done this time around. I'm so happy to see the gradual progress that we're making. We also had another contractor come and give us a bid for some work. So hopefully we'll start to see the flooring transform soon, the kitchen transform soon. Just stick with me and thanks for watching.